Hi, beautiful people. Let's talk about people who want to graduate into a ketogenic diet. Not really a diet. It's a full hardcore lifestyle. But people who want to adapt from low carb, high fat into keto, but they just don't do well once they drop out the carbs and their glycogen is depleted and they just don't adapt. Blood sugar starts swinging around and they start experiencing hardcore Don's phenomenon or uh, what is it called? It's physiological insulin resistance, which is like all of a sudden your blood sugar just goes super high. These are, these are the types of people that would stay at a low carb, high fat dietary protocol. So you are not ketotic, but you're going to eat a lot of fat anyway, people. Okay. Got a lot of vitamins up in that. So essentially your vegetables, and it depends, like if you don't have a full on gut dysbiosis or any type of itis, and you um, don't have crazy sensitivities, like all these leaky gut people and histamine intolerance people, but you just are suffering from like hypoglycemia, low energy, adrenal issues. What else? You guys are scared about your thyroid to go ketotic. Um, yeah, those are the main reasons why adrenal and thyroid and insulin resistance, although those people should really go keto. Um, but I teach you guys how to stay in this, either stay here or graduate into keto. But how you do it is dependent on where your health is existing at this present moment, which is key. I should actually put on my website like a questionnaire to ping what you guys have. If you don't know what you have, look for symptoms and know what dietary measure to actually start. But if you want to go into keto, you can stick it low carb, high fat. Like I talked about fats in my last video, you want to separate your fats from your starches and sugars. Go check that in my video about fats on low carb, high fat. But you want to separate them for a long explanation as to why. But everybody's different people respond because all plants have poisons they just have different levels of them and especially in the growth state so i like white rice most people who've got a dysbiotic gut or histamine can tolerate it some can't so i i definitely highly recommend white white rice as a way to keep your glycogen storages nice and full to keep you energized throughout the day uh things like uh carrots uh, yellow squash, naming all the anti-nutrient stuff, uh, and <laughs> plant chemicals, um, green peas, some berries, but these are, these are like, a lot of these things have lectins and, um, really want to do like low oxalate. You can do the cruciferous family, but I prefer low oxalate, 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 tomato, tomato, you know, like, uh, cauliflower is a good one. Uh, spinach is very, very difficult because you can use it for its potassium benefits, but you have to prepare, the pipa, prepare it. I'm not doing this video again. You have to prepare it in a certain way, which is to boil the frack out of it and boil it for a long time. And then you've got to squeeze the water out, squeeze the water out, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the water out. And then it's mushy mess. And then you got to throw it on a pan and saute it. Then we can get out a lot of those oxalates or oxalates, but not all of them. If you're having heart palps and don't want to do potassium chloride pills, which irritate your kidneys. So with that said, you still want to keep your meat fatty of the fatty type. So you can get those fat soluble vitamins and please people eat your organ meats. I should do more videos on the subject about organ meats and what organ meats for what health problem, but not today because that guy's to go and get some vitamin D, sit on my rooftop, and get some nice vitamin D3, and enjoy life. If you guys want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com and book a consultation. I need to open up my calendar before I upload this video. But book a consultation. Girls, your girl's been doing this for a long time. Coaching and consulting seems so nerdy, like lame terms. But I've just been helping people in the thousands over the years. 
And now I have brought in Keto Carnivore because I've worked with people on my Keto Course group. It's Keto Carnivore because I drive ketosis on carnivore and not to eat, just eat two pounds of lean meat. It's not gonna happen or just the trimmings of fat on the end. That's not enough to drive ketosis. You still need to know how to incorporate the fat and look for symptoms that hurt your gallbladder, all right, or histamine issues. So you can go to 70person.com, you can join my course, it's a monthly subscription membership, or you can uh, da, uh, da, uh, go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic. Yes, honey, because I'll put up stuff there every day, all right, in my stories, information every day that's really fantastic. Sometimes I'm like, I need to write down every time I do a story on a subject and then use it for my YouTube channel because it's so good. But with that said, I've got some energy, 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 energy. I'm in my almost 12 years of keto, right? At the age of almost 52 and counting and loving it and still got the mother sucking business. This isn't genetics, people, now. It's epigenetics. And I, I gotta go and enjoy the day. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know. Johnny Carson background. I'm gonna fix it soon, I promise.